Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, I will be discussing about lattice parameters of a unit cell and also various Bravais lattices in two dimensions and three dimensions. Let us start. Lattice parameters. Lattice parameters we have, let us see this in this picture you can see there is a atoms are arranged regularly periodically in three dimensions you can see here the atoms are arranged here 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 and also in this direction we have atoms are arranged and also in this direction we have atoms are arranged in three dimensions we have atoms are arranged and also as we already have seen unit cell unit cell is the smallest volume if you repeat the smallest volume throughout the crystal we get a total crystal so so this is the a smallest to volume of this lattice called unit cell. Now, if we define a unit cell, it should have some parameters. The parameters are the distance between the two atoms. I'm this is a zoomed part of this small area. This is a unit cell. This is a zoomed part of the same area. Where the distance between the two atoms in the x axis is this is the atom is there, and there is another atom here these two. The distance between the two atoms in the x-axis is represented with A. That is the lattice parameter in the x-axis. Similarly, the distance between the two atoms in the y-axis is represented with term B. This is the lattice parameter in the y-axis. Similarly, the distance between the two atoms from origin to z-axis is represented as C. This is lattice parameter in the z direction. Now there are three parameters are there. They are A, B, C. These are the lattice parameters of this unit cell along the x, y, z axis respectively. In addition to this, we also should know the angles between the x axis, y axis, z axis. Let alpha be the angle between this is the y axis, this is the z axis, this is the alpha. And let beta be the angle between x and z axis. This is the z axis, this is the x axis, this is the angle beta. And the gamma be the angle between x and y axis. This is the y axis, this is the x axis, this is the angle gamma. So, now these angles are called interfacial axis or interaxial angles. These angles are called interfacial angles or interaxial angles. In order to understand the properties of unit cell, we require ABC and alpha, beta and gamma. These are the six parameters that require, that required to understand the properties of unit cell. That means, now, the A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma by varying these a, b, c and alpha, beta, gamma, six values, we get different lattices. So, how many different ways we can arrange the lattice points by varying a, b, c, that means lattice parameters along x, y, z axis and also the angles between x, y, z, that is alpha, beta, gamma. So, how many different ways we can arrange the lattice points in the space by varying a, b, c, alpha, beta, gamma. How many ways? It's very difficult to imagine. However, Bravi ha Bravis has shown that in the two dimensions, there are only five ways to arrange these points in the space. They are square. This is a square lattice. That means Bravis has shown that only five possible, five maximum possible ways that we can arrange the lattice points in the two dimensions. In the two dimensions, we only have two lattice parameters. They are A comma B. And the angle between these two lattice parameters, that is just simply phi. So now, the first one is square in which the lattice parameters A is equal to B and the angle between them is 90. You can see here, this is a square lattice. The distance between the two atoms is A. And in this direction, the distance between the two atoms is B, that is the lattice parameter A, lattice parameter B. 
and also a is equal to b and the angle between them is 90 degrees this is a square lattice this is one possible way that the the points can be arranged in the two dimensional space the other possible way hexagonal in the hexagonal the distance between the two atoms is in the in this direction is a and in this direction is b and the angle between these two is 120 degrees this forms a, a total this this is how we can arrange the lattice points and when we connect them we can see a clear hexagon so that means the other possible way of arranging the points in the space in two dimensional space is a hexagonal way where the lattice parameters a is equal to b and phi is equal to 120 degrees the third possibilities are oblique here a is not equal to b and phi is not equal to 90 degrees so you can see here this is the a the lattice parameters in the x-axis and the lattice parameter y-axis is b and the angle is not clearly 90. so this is another way to arrange the lattice points in two-dimensional space these are the three ways another two ways are primitive rectangle and center rectangle you can see here the lattice parameter in the x-axis is A and the lattice parameter in the y-axis is B. But this is a rectangle, so A is not equal to B. But the, the angles between them is clearly 90 degrees. So this is a primitive rectangle. The primitive means here you can see this is a unit cell. This is a unit cell forms with this one. So the, the lattice points are at the vertices of the unit cell and contributes only one lattice point so this is a primitive rectangle and this is in the rectangle form there is another way to arrange the lattice points is a center rectangle you can see here the lattice point in the x direction is a and the lattice points in the y direction is b lattice parameter and the angle between them is 90 degrees but you can see here the lattice points are at the vertices of the unit cell this is the unit cell and there is one more, one more lattice point is at the center of the unit cell. So that means this is a centered rectangle and this is a non-primitive where A is not equal to B but phi is equal to 90. So only these five possible ways we can arrange the lattice points in the space in the two-dimensional space. So this is about the Bravis lattices in two dimensions. The summary of the Bravis lattice in two dimensions is the lattice points can be arranged in two dimensions the maximum possible way is only five ways let's see how many different ways we can arrange the lattice points in three dimension Bryce has shown that the lattice points in the three dimensions can be arranged 14 different ways out of 14 different ways seven are primitive and seven are non-primitive this is a primitive this is a non-primitive so these 14 bravis lattices are grouped into seven crystal systems let us see the seven crystal systems in detail according to bravis the first one is cubic in the cubic crystal system the lattice parameters that means the lattice parameter along the x-axis the lattice parameters along the x-axis y-axis z-axis is equal and the interfacial angle that means the axis the axis are perpendicular to each other so in the cubic lattice we have a, B, C that is in lattice parameters are equal and the angles between them is perpendicular to each other. So in the cubic system with these conditions the maximum possible ways that the points can be arranged is maximum is three ways. They are primitive cubic, body center cubic this is a primitive or simple. 
This is simple cubic or primitive cubic. This is a body center cubic. This is a BCC and this is FCC. Only three different ways we can arrange the lattice points in the space with these conditions. That's the reason why the number of lat Bravais lattices are three. And the another crystal system is tetragonal. In the tetragonal system, the lattice parameters are a equal to b but not equal to c. That means two lattice parameters are equal but the third one is not equal. Uh, but the interfacial angles are perpendicular. That means the angles between the axes is perpendicular. That means the axes are perpendicular to each other. So when with these conditions, we only can arrange the lattice points in the space two ways. They are primitive, that means simple tetragonal and the another one is body center tetragonal so this is a this is a simple tetragonal this is a body center tetragonal so the maximum number of possible ways two with these conditions so this is about the tetragonal Next one is orthorhombic. In the orthorhombic, we have the lattice parameters A not equal to B, not equal to C. That means the lattice parameters are not equal, but the angles between them is perpendicular to each other. That means all the axes are perpendicular to each other. By using this condition, we can arrange the lattice points in the space maximum four different ways. They are primitive. They are sim this is a primitive, that means a simple, that means a simple orthorhombic crystal system. This is a base center, and this is a body center orthorhombic system. This is a face centered orthorhombic system. So, the maximum possible ways are four possible ways by using these conditions, orthorhombic conditions. The next one is monoclinic. In the monoclinic system, in the monoclinic, in the monoclinic system, the lattice parameters are A not equal to B, not equal to C. That means the lattice parameters are not equal in any direction, but the angle between them, two of them are perpendicular to each other, and the third one is not perpendicular they are with some angle so this is a monoclinic system with this system the number of possible ways of arranging the lattice points in the space is only two they are primitive that means a simple monoclonic system and then base center monoclonic system this is a base center monoclonic system there are only two ways we can arrange the points in the space with this condition. Here I mean to arrange means we have to, the, the lattice points has to be satisfy the periodic condition and also the environment about each and every lattice point should be identical to each other. So only two possible ways that can be arranged with monoclinic system. And the fifth one is a triclinic. Here the lattice parameters are a not equal to B not equal to C. That means none of the lattice parameters are equal and the angles between the axes is interfacial axis is also not perpendicular to each other. So in this way there is only one way we can arrange the lattice points in the space such that it satisfies the periodic condition as well as identical to each other identical points. That means this is only one way that is primitive. So there is only one way we can arrange by using these conditions. The other condition is trigonal or rhombohedral. Using this way here the lattice parameters are A is equal to B is equal to C and the interfacial angles are equal but they are not equal to 90. That means they are not mutually orthogonal but they are equal to each other. 
So using this way, also we can arrange the lattice points in the space only one way, that is a primitive way. This is a primitive rhombohedral. And the number of lattice point and then the number of Bravis lattice for this rhombohedral is one. And the last one is hexagonal. In the hexagonal crystal system, the lattice parameters A is equal to B but not equal to C. And the two axes are orthogonal to each other. And the third one is the angle between them is 120 degrees. Here you can see this is A, B, A, this is a B, this is a C. So A equal to B but not equal to C and alpha beta is equal to 90 degrees but gamma is equal to 120 degrees. By using these conditions, the lattice points can be arranged in the space is only one possible way, that is the primitive way. So the total, bra total number of Bravis lattice in the space is only 14. So in this way, the number of lattice points can be arranged the, the, the lattice points can be arranged in the space such that it follows the periodic property as well as the lattice points are identical to each other. That means the environment about each and every lattice point identical to each other. There are only 14 ways they are shown here. In summarizing the class, uh, the unit cell is the smallest volume of the crystal. If we repeat this unit cell throughout the crystal, throughout the x, y, z axis, we get the total crystal structure. And also the properties of unit cell and the lattice are similar and we can also say the unit cell is a building block of the crystal. Another one is the Bravis lattice in two dimensions are 5 and then Bravis lattice in the three dimensional are 14 Bravis lattices are there and then they are grouped into 7 crystal systems. Thank you.